Okay guys, so video tutorial for BR5, which is location selection for broadcast. Again, you'll find this in MES2, uh, task 3 pre-production, broadcast, BR5, location selection. So, what we need to do is, we need to pick some locations that we are going to use for our film. We've already drawn our storyboard, we've got a good idea of what is actually going to occur in our film. Uh, how we want our film to go or text to, to go ahead, uh, what we're looking to film, but now we need to find the locations that we're going to use in this. So, you need to research this and you need to complete a document which looks similar to the one that I am going to show you in a second. Uh, to, in order to do this, you're going to need to take some photos of the location you're going to use, at least two per location, describe the location. Uh, so what is it? Is it a house? You know, is it a park? Uh, has it got some trees? Etc. Uh, Etc. Et so give us a description. Add comments on light and sound lighting. So has it got good light? Has it got bad light? Would I need to bring additional lights to be able to shoot this if the if it's dark? Sound? Is it noisy? Is it is it quiet? Uh, there's lots of background noise which we need to take into account when we do our sound. Uh, what sort of camera shots could we use here? For example, if it's a small space, we need to make sure we use extreme close-ups or very close-ups because it might be difficult to get a wide pan or a medium-sized shot. Uh, and also any general comments. Finally, you're gonna say if you will use this location and where you will use it. So which part of your storyboard does it fall within? So here we go, here's an example for you to look at. Let's just load this up. Loading up, just wait for it for a sec, a bit slow. It's quite a big file, so... Um, but this document's quite important. It's quite important to send it to the um, exam board uh, with the rest of your coursework. Okay, so here we go. Right, here is our document. So we've got a title at the top, Location uh, Reconnaissance. Okay, got location, description room, okay, uh, description, so we've got dining room of house, young couple live there with children, we can see that because we've got push chair, maybe that there, some stuff there, looks like a baby thing, a uh, picture of a baby up there on the picture, two pictures of what's going on, okay, and some comments, right, so, so look, comments, to do with lighting, excellent lighting room, uh, from outside window and also internally through white walls. Okay, there's also plenty of space for camera to be set up and additional people out of shot because it's quite a big space. Okay, we see that there's a nice window overlooking the garden which could be incorporated into any shots. A wide shot of the room is possible from corner of, corners of the room. Table is in a good, a really nice position for close up and over the shoulder shots of characters looking out into the garden. I'll also be able to incorporate their child playing outside because we could film them from here looking out the window and, and they will be able to be in shot when using a medium shot. Will I use it in the video or not? If not, why? If used where? If not, why? It will be used for scene one. It's perfect for the opening sequence as I, as I require a couple to be eating around the table. So for each of these, this is the sort of thing I want. It's not a lot of writing, but it needs to be specific. You need to use specific media language in here. You need to talk about camera shots, sound, lighting, positioning, where you would use it, what sort of shots you'd use, etc., etc., to produce a document like this. You should do it for all the locations that you're going to be using. So uh, this document will probably be quite big, but good document to produce. Okay.